To understand the boulder stone technique, you have to understand the life force and how you interact with it. So what is the life force? Well, it is not something that Western scientists are comfortable with because it is not object objectively measurable. But like positivity, happiness and love, the life force exists and is something used the world over to move us closer to health. I have tried to represent the flow of life force with this, but this is only a representation. Many health systems around the world use the life force as the most important component in diagnosing and treating, such as Chinese medicine, naturopathy, acupuncture, Hawaiian medicine, Tibetan medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, and, and many more. The point is that life force is measurable by another human being, but not with a machine. So how do you interact with it? Well, we all interact with the life force every day without even thinking about it. And so it can appear insignificant. When an artist paints, the picture is the final product and is a simple thing, just different colours combined in a unique way. But when you look at any of the famous paintings, they're all very different. They tell different stories through their content, but also by the expression of the life force of the artist while they were painting. And this is what you can, can interact with when you see beyond the paint. The same is true for singing. When an opera singer sings, if you only listen with your ears, you'll probably hear a noise or just, just a noise. But if you listen with your heart, when you connect with the life force of the singer, even without knowing the words, you will experience far more than just the notes. Everything that grows has a life force flowing through it, just like the painting as it was being painted. And that includes plants, animals including human beings, and even buildings. Ask a real architect. Music, communities, everything that changes or grows, which means nearly everything. And you have the ability to interact with all of them if you can get your ego out of the way. When the life force is unimpeded in a person, the result is peace and health. But when the life force is distorted, the result, you can actually feel that distortion and realize that health will not be possible. Take a look at when I made a connection with the horse. The horse had been found with a weight around his head, pulling him down to the ground. I could feel this life force pattern was stuck in the horse, and the movement down was a reflection of that pattern. I do not push the horse's head down. Instead, it is following this distorted flow of life force. When the horse touches the ground, his head automatically comes back up, which would have been stopped by the weight. But in coming back up, it completes the pattern and ending the problem. Get away, dog. <laughs> Get in the way.
Watch out for the feeling of peace that comes over the horse at the end of the session. The same sense of peace occurs in a human being once a problem has been dealt with. And some people can even see that sense of peace in a still photograph. The boulder stone technique is unique amongst medical systems that use the life force because it doesn't weave theories around the flow of life force. We just feel for the distortions and show them to the patient. So what's left? One of the questions might be, what diseases and problems can be sorted out by following and correcting the flow of life force? And the answer to that question could be amazing, but will be in the next video. If you like this video, please leave a comment and share it with another human being using the share button. Thank you very much for watching.